If you ever plan on retiring, there's three possible strategies that you can use. The first strategy is the 401k, and this is what most Americans use for retirement. With the 401k in 2024, you can contribute up to $22,500 annually, and you can also get an employer match up to a certain percentage. However, you cannot access those funds until you're 59 and a half years old without a 10% penalty. When the stock market goes up, you profit, but also when the stock market drops, you lose. The second strategy is a Roth IRA. Now, Roth just means that you pay taxes now, that way you don't have to pay taxes later, which is a good thing. A Roth has a maximum contribution of $7,000 in the year 2024. If you're over 55 years old, you can play catch up so you can add an extra thousand to that to make it a total of $8,000. Roth is still subject to market volatility, so yes, you can lose. And you cannot access the capital gains until you're 59 and a half years old, once again, without a 10% penalty. And the third strategy, which is one of my favorite strategies, because they don't teach us this in our school system. This strategy leverages the three tax codes, Internal Revenue Code 72E, Internal Revenue Code 7702, and Internal Revenue Code 101A. This is a properly structured, engineered, and designed life insurance policy. It's an indexed universal life insurance policy. Or you may have heard of this product being called a LIRP, L-I-R-P, Life Insurance Retirement Plan. That's right, it's life insurance. Using life insurance as a potential tax-free alternative to a 401k or an IRA has its advantages. There's no cap on how much you can contribute annually. You can access the funds within the cash value before you're 59 and a half years old without penalty. As a 0% floor, so when the stock market drops, you never lose, your gains are locked in. Your money's not only growing tax-free, but it's also tax-free distribution. So it doesn't matter what taxes are, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, you don't have to pay those taxes. The taxes and market volatility are your two biggest enemies in retirement. So we want to make sure we're able to minimize those enemies and those liabilities. Inside of this life insurance retirement plan, you also have something called living benefits. Now, living benefits are critical, chronic, terminal illness. That's heart attack, stroke, cancer, long-term care, anything dealing with your internal major organs. So if any time throughout your life, you become critically chronic terminal ill, Instead of dipping into your retirement plan and exhausting it too soon or liquidating some of your assets, putting your family in financial struggle, guys, you have access to leverage your death benefit while you're still alive. Pay off the medical bills, supplement your income. This way, your family's protected and your wealth that you've been accumulating is protected. It's a win-win situation. And finally, when you pass away, your cash value blossoms into a few hundred thousand dollars more in the form of a death benefit income tax-free to your beneficiaries. There's no other financial tool on the planet that can do this. Life insurance is the Swiss army knife for the financial industry. So when you're planning for retirement, make sure you pick the strategy that best fits your needs and your overall goals. And it must benefit you when you need it the most. If you want to learn a little bit more about how this strategy actually works and see if it'll be beneficial for you, make sure you follow this account and go ahead and click that link in the first comment section and schedule your free strategy session today. Let's get you educated, my friend.